Hi all, welcome back to etltestingtutorial.com and the prerequisite questions. So we have covered what is ETL, we also have seen the uh, very basic about the ETL tools, what are the different tools available in the market, both in the reporting space as well as uh, in uh, reporting as well as the ETL space, right? Now I'm going to address the very third question, what is ETL testing, right? So what is the ETL testing? Okay, so in order to understand the ETL testing, let me again go back and show you what we have been talking about, right? So let me first show you a, a pictorial representation of end-to-end -end flow, including the reporting part, okay? So we also talked about uh, very briefly about the reporting. So let me talk about this, right? So we, we spoke, this is a, a layer, okay? Where you have multiple source system, right? So in my previous example, this can be Amazon website databases and you can have multiple databases uh, where you are storing the data, right? Some of them can be a heterogeneous, uh, uh, some of them can be a SQL server database, some of them can be an Oracle database, some of them can be a text file or a CSV file, right? Or, or it can be a SAP HANA type of a database. So what do you, as a part of your ETL process, you move, right, uh, you move all your data over here, right. So I start moving my data from here, from my source system to my target system. And this is done through a uh, tool, right. So as I said, this is called a uh, data integration tools or, or in a short, we talked about the ETL tools, right, right. So there are ETL tools which will move the data into a central repository which is nothing but a data warehouse, right? So what is the, what is ETL testing over here? Okay, so as we are addressing the question of ETL testing, let me just highlight this here, okay? So ETL testing, right? So now what we have seen is once you move the data, right? So there are certain integration points right? so that as a tester, you need to do a lot of testing over the integration points, right? Then, because there, once you move a data from multiple system, there can be uh, issues with the duplicate data, right? There can be an issue with the data truncation, okay? In a very, very layman terms, uh, data duplication means if the same data is coming from here and same data is coming from an Excel sheet, then again you have a duplicate of a duplicacy of a data, right? You can also have a, a, a data um, truncation. Say for example, in the source you are you have defined certain field as a integer data type, okay? And in the in this system in this data warehouse when you are defining a schema, okay? Over here, when you were defining a schema, you mentioned that field, okay, maybe as a, a character field, right? Whereas in the source, it is an integer field. So once you start moving the data, what might happen is the data might get truncated or data might altogether be a null, right? The values which were coming can directly be a null also, right? So you have to check all of this kind of testing, right? as part of ETL testing, right? And then <coughs> another integration point is once you have this data where in data available into a data warehouse, okay? What will happen is you would like to move the data, okay? You would like to move the aggregated data, right? Say for example, let's take a previous example, right? I wanted to see the sales, okay? Of Kindle, Kindle was my product, okay? for US, California, right? So what I need to do, I need to do a aggregation based on California region, right? So pre-aggregated data I could put, okay, into my cubes, right? So cubes are nothing but a three-dimensional view of a data, okay? So say for example, I have a sales figure over here, I would like to visualize my Kindle sales based on a geography, right? So this can be one of the uh, one of the 
one of the axes where you can see the data. The another axis can be uh, based on. So this is a cal. Uh, this can be uh, based on a promotional offer, okay, or certain discounts that are going on. And then another view can be based on the dates, right? So you have multiple dimensional view. Which is something sometimes also called as multi-dimensional database. Okay, multi-dimensional database, and which will help you to visualize your data based on different permutations and combinations, right? As we mentioned, it can be a geography, it can be a date, okay, or it can be on a promotional event, okay, or during the promotional time. Finally, this data has to be shown into certain reports, and different users might be hitting this report to visualize it, right? And that is something called end-to-end -end business intelligence. Okay? Till this part, you have another one set of tools, which is called ETL tools. Okay? And then up from there onwards, you will start moving. This is an entirely different set of tools, which is called a reporting set of tools. Whereas you have over here the analysis services and all. Which is a OLAP kind of a tool. Okay, so that will help you to do a pre-aggregation of a data based on certain dimension, which can be a date, promotional, promotional dimension, or a location dimension. Right. So why I was covering all of this is because what is ETL testing? In a ETL testing, you need to cover the integration points. Okay, so very very important. Is to have a look at all of these integration points, right? So this integration points has to be tested, right? So if you see my figure, so this data moved from the source to a warehouse, which is something over here. Okay, so this data is moving over here from source to your warehouse. Though there can be one intermediate layer also, just to move the data into a uniform format. Say for example, here is a XML uh, Excel file it has to be first put into a database. Similarly, you want to only uh, move a part of a data from the source system over here. Maybe you wanted to from thousands of table available here. You want to just move ten tables over here. All of this can be designed into your this set of uh, uh, layer and that is called a staging layer. Okay, so staging layer also has to be validated. And then the target data warehouse. You then again, it is an entirely different test entry points. Okay, and finally, the data is moved into the data mart and the reporting application. Right. So these are the uh, data marts or or uh, OLAP systems. Okay, and finally, the reporting. So there are multiple integration points, and being a tester, you need to check all of these integration points. Okay. And this integration point has to be looked in based for the data, right? Data reconciliation. It can be data cleaning, data quality checks, okay? Or it can be a system uh, security checks, or it can be um, basically it can be the data count check, the drill through reporting check, the performance of a report, so n number of things, right? So we have covered all of these testing aspects. If you go to our videos, right? So if you see here, we have covered uh, a reporting, report testing over here, right? So the entire section we have dedicated for the report testing. We have dedicated the other section for the ETL testing. And if you see this, there are so many things that come as part of our ETL testing. You have to test the dimensions, the facts, the mapping document. What is it? How do you go about testing a project, testing architecture, and so on and so forth, right? So this is what I wanted to cover as part of um, uh, the third section uh, or the third prerequisite. What is the ETL testing? Okay. In the next, uh, we will cover tester's role in the ETL testing.